Welcome to the TokenMarket.net podcast. I am your host, Gavin Knight. Thank you for tuning in. Check out our site for digital asset research, a calendar of upcoming events, and many future upcoming releases. Our podcast features team members of projects in the cryptocurrency space to help shed light on their developments. Just because a project is on our podcast doesn't mean we recommend investment, so always research and engage wisely. So I'm here with Patrick Dye, founder of the Quantum Foundation and co-founder of the Quantum Project, qtum.org. So why don't you tell me about how the project got started and how long you guys have been working on it? Yeah, um, uh, we uh, we started the project uh, almost one year right now. Uh, we started the project since uh, 2016 of March. Yeah, so what? Uh, the original idea uh, why we want to do quantum project is because it's a it's a it's a totally new blockchain uh, project. Yeah, the reason is I saw a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in China in the in China in the Chinese community. It's like uh, the Bitcoin community and the Ethereum community they do not like each other. Yeah, so then I think yeah why we do why not do something to combine the the two main two main uh, blockchain uh, ecosystem. So uh, that's the reason why we want to do quantum project. Yeah, basically quantum is uh, a, the project. The, the technology is compatible. Uh, is compatible with uh, with Bitcoin ecosystem and the Ethereum ecosystem. Yeah, because we are using the UTXO model. It's a basic architecture of Bitcoin, and we are using the EVM, uh, the Ethereum virtual machine. Yeah. And another reason is like uh, in early 2015, uh, I'm the CTO of the uh, of a big, of a blockchain uh, technology startup in China in Shanghai, and we are doing the blockchain with the supply chain. Yeah, but when I wanted to do some uh, industry use uh, use case with some industry applications uh, based on based on the Ethereum platform, uh, I found a lot of problem. Yeah, I found I needed to do a, a lot of change. I needed to do. A, uh, I needed to uh, do a lot of stuff to improve the uh, the, the efficiency or the uh, or the scalability of the of the Ethereum platform. So and uh, so that's another reason uh, why I wanted to build something new. Yeah, to build the quantum platform. And what's the advantage of the UTXO model? And are you guys using a proof of stake? Yeah, uh, we are based on the UTXO model, and we are using the proof of stake. Yeah. Uh, there is a very long debate about the UTXO model and the account model, uh, but from my point of view, uh, since early 2012, uh, I was in the Bitcoin community, and uh, um, I've witnessed a lot of projects in, th- in this area. In this area, so uh, basically, the, the UTXO model is uh, is uh, architecture. It's a very uh, it's a very uh, it's a very basic architecture of a Bitcoin network. Yeah. So since Satoshi Nakamoto, he used he used the UTXO model, and a lot of Bitcoin forks. I mean, like Litecoin, Dogecoin, or some other Bitcoin forks, and even some uh, permission blockchain like Hyperledger and R3 Coda. Yeah, they are they all based on the UTXO model. So. Uh, we see the UTXO model uh, have the have more ability to parallel uh, to process the transaction uh, in the blockchain network, and we see the UTXO model is more secure uh, when you do some large amount of, of transfer of, of value transfer, and some Bitcoin core developer they are they are the bit 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 support of UTXO model like Jeff Gazik yeah he has he has some Twitter. Uh, tweets about the UTXO model, the advantage of UTXO model. Yeah, so that that's uh, because Quantum wanted to build the bridge uh, for the UTXO model to the EVM. So uh, we choose the UTXO model, and uh, we want to be compatible with Bitcoin architecture, so we can use all the current uh, all the current Bitcoin uh, development tools, all the current Bitcoin resource. Uh, we can use that in Quantum platform. And I guess quantum, are you going for a currency or a, a transfer of value and a network where you can build these smart contracts? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, in quantum platform, we have the we have our own tokens. Yeah, it's uh, it's called 
uh, it's called uh, QTUM, yeah, it's quantum, yeah, the quantum token. Uh, so the quantum token you can use as two main uh, two main purpose. Yeah, the first one is uh, like the normal uh, transaction fee. Yeah, because in quantum uh, uh, blockchain network, uh, we separated the the normal uh, we separated the normal transaction and the contract transaction. So for the normal transaction, when you use quantum platform, uh, it's uh, similar like the Bitcoin. It's similar like you use Bitcoin. Yeah, you can pay the transaction fee, and you can get your uh, transaction being uh, being processed by the by the node, uh, by the proof of stake nodes. And for if you are, uh, for example, if you are trying to uh, send on transaction, send on payment to a contract address, uh, then the quantum token. Uh, have a similar concept can be used as a gas, yeah, uh, in Ethereum platform, yeah. So quantum token uh, has a two purpose in in uh, in quantum ecosystem, yeah. It's also a one of the value, one of the value simple of the of the quantum network, yeah. So th th that's about the quantum token. And for the applications, yes, you can uh, you can use Solidity to build the uh, as a smart contract language. You can use EVM uh, based on quantum platform, you can build the the decentralized applications. Yeah, uh, but we we are support we we plan to support some new features. Uh, uh, based on the UTXO model, because for some features you can only do uh, on the, uh, based on the UTXO model. Yeah, like the SPV wallet. Yeah, uh, like the like some uh, some. Some uh, native uh, multi-signature contract. Yeah, that's some advantage of the UTXO model. And why do you think companies or projects are going to pick quantum over, say, uh, some Ethereum or some of the other options? You were mentioning that it kind of unites the ecosystem. So, what do you think the biggest advantage uh, for people uh, to use quantum is? Yeah, uh, a very a very big advantage is like, uh, yeah, you do not. Uh, the first one is yeah, you do not have a a very sharp learning curve to uh, uh, to use quantum. If uh, if you are a Bitcoin developer or Ethereum developer, yeah, you can use quantum uh, very easy. Yeah, and also yeah, we will support the mobile. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's one of our strategy. Uh, we 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 will support the mobile smart contracts. We will support the SPV wallet. Yeah, we will support the uh, the mobile stuff. Yeah, the the third the third advantage is like uh. Uh, you can based on the UTXO model, you can create some new features, some some unique uh, some unique features you can only do uh, on quantum platform. Yeah, like I just mentioned the yeah I can give you more details later. It's uh, like the multi signature uh, the, because the Bitcoin is about the multi signature and we we plan to uh, because for the for the UTXO model uh, the output is some script language. Yeah. So you can do more extension and have more possibility uh, by you by using the UTXO model. Yeah, you can you can design your own uh, OP code, uh, the operation code, and you you can extend the the possibility of the uh, of the quantum platform, and it bring more of flexibility uh, when you compare with the or quantum model. Yeah, so by this way, we we plan to build some unique features. Uh, can only be used on quantum platform. Yeah, and uh, yeah, for the third reason, yeah, uh, we wanted to uh, people. We will encourage people uh, to build the uh, applications based on quantum platform. Uh, we have the plan to cooperate with a uh, bigger company in China, uh, the internet company. So we will we work work with them together uh, to build the decentralized applications. Uh, in the mobile uh, mobile end, so everyone can use it uh, in your cell phone. Yeah. So before the podcast, you were mentioning some ways to send quantum, like uh, SMTP and, uh, and yeah. instant messaging. So it seems like mobile and uh, just a more basic uh, commerce with uh, tokens is important. So what what are you guys working on to make it easier for for just average person to interact? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, because uh, I think everyone know uh, it's it's very hard for the normal, I mean, for the average uh, internet user to even use the wallet. Yeah, no matter it's Bitcoin wallet or some uh, other wallet, it's very hard for uh, for normal people uh, to use the wallet. Yeah, the the people they, the they cannot remember the public key. 
it's a, a random character. You cannot remember this. Yeah. So uh, that, that's bringing a problem to the whole industry. I mean, the usability of blockchain uh, of blockchain products. Yeah. So uh, I, I, I had I had this thinking. I think since last two year, I'm I, I'm, uh, I was thinking how can we uh, improve the usability of the of the whole blockchain industry. Yeah. Then I think about uh, then I thought about the email. Yeah. I, because everyone know. Uh, uh, we, we everyone is using email. Yeah, email is the most popular uh, products on the internet. Yeah, everyone has their Gmail or some other email service. Yeah, so I'm thinking, yeah, why not combine the most popular internet products, in, in, most popular internet service uh, with the with the blockchain? Yeah, so I had this idea like last year. Then we have we have some developer. Yeah, uh, so we are doing a project. The name is Spring Email. So basically, we wanted to uh, integrate uh, the blockchain protocol with the SMTP protocol, uh, simple mile uh, transfer protocol. So we wanted to uh, we wanted to everyone uh, can use their email uh, to send and receive the cryptocurrency. Yeah. By this way, you do not need to download the wallet. Uh, you do not need to uh, uh, download uh, 80 gigabyte or 100 gigabyte wallet. Uh, to as a as a phone node to just send and receive the token. Yeah. So we want to we want to make the you also like you if you do some micro payment or some small pay, payment on internet, you can just use your email uh, to to do the payment. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, bring some new new member or some new. Uh, some some uh, some people outside of the blockchain community they can join the blockchain community. So that's the spring email we are doing. Uh, we have a prototype right now. So you can basically you can use your email uh, to send and receive the uh, the quantum token. Yeah, we extend the XML XML language. Uh, so uh, like you do an attachment uh, as your email, uh, you you can just uh, do some. Uh, do some special uh, characters to say, okay, I wanted to send uh, ten quantum token to this email address. Yeah, but it, yeah, we are we are doing this the service right now, and uh, I think yeah, we have we 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 shared some <laughs> same idea with some big company because uh, like uh, two days ago, uh, I just read the news. Uh, Twenty one, they they are doing some something similar. Yeah, but we, I I never I didn't know they are doing something similar because we we had the spring email idea last year. Yeah, about two days ago I read the news about twenty one. Yeah, they they say okay they want they wanted to do a blockchain with the email service. Yeah, so it's 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 something cool. Yeah. So did your team kind of come from bigger companies? Like it seems sort of like you have. Uh, you want to integrate and build and work with these bigger solutions like email providers, maybe chat platforms. Um, so, so did you guys come from some bigger companies uh, before Quantum and sort of have that vision of working with them? Uh, yeah, we yeah we have a very uh, experienced team. Yeah, myself, I worked for Alibaba. Yeah, it's one of the biggest uh, company in China. And we have a team member from Baidu. Uh, they are doing. Uh, yeah, I think it's, most of people they know it. Yeah, it's, it's Google in China. Yeah, and we have a team member from Tencent. Yeah, it's Tencent is a very great company, and uh, they have the WeChat, the QQ, and uh, they are they are the top ten internet company in the whole world. So uh, we have we have a team member from. Uh, they worked for the biggest company, the top company in China. So we have some vision uh, about how can we uh, how can we uh, improve the how can we improve the, the the whole industry in China? How can we do the uh, te technology innovations in China? Yeah, and we ha we also have some some team members from uh, uh, from uh, we have a very global vision. We have a team members from uh, from American from Ohio State uh, and from uh, Sweden and from Canada and from uh, from Morocco from Colombia. Yeah, so from from Belarus, from Minsk, yeah. So we have a very we have a very uh, very great team, yeah, in quantum projects, yeah. Right now we have about thirty members, uh, in quantum development teams Slack channel, yeah. So obviously, uh, uh, as people can see on the site, you got a lot of uh, investors. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I was surprised to see like Starju, 
uh, yeah. the OK yeah. coin, and I know they've been yeah, yeah. the OK coin CEO. Yeah. yeah, and uh, so so how are you able to get um, so many investors on board uh, on such a new project? It seems some of those people I don't see invest a lot, like Anthony Diorio and uh, yeah, yeah. So so how, yeah. how how did that process start? Yeah. Mm, uh, yeah, I I um I have a, I have some reputations in China because I'm I was very early uh, in this industry since uh, 2012, and uh, at that time I was uh, preparing my PhD degree uh, in one of the best university in China, uh, the Academic of Science. Uh, it's a CAS. It's a similar like a NASA uh, in in American. Yeah, it's a research a research university. So uh, I did. Uh, I I wrote a lot of articles uh, about the blockchain technology uh, in Chinese earlier. So most of people uh, in the in this community they know me a uh, few years ago. Yeah, and I was uh, I'm keep working in this area. So uh, a lot of investors when they know uh, I started the project last year, and they they show some bigger interest. Yeah. Uh, like Boston, like Anthony, uh, because we know Anthony uh, uh, since 2015, and he he like our team and he like what we are doing, and uh, for Shu Star, uh, he is the CEO of OKCoin, and we meet each other a uh, few years ago, yeah, and uh, and they they wanted to support something, uh, some innovations from China, yeah. So they wanted to, uh, they want Quantum can build the, uh, the a very good community in China. Uh, they want Quantum can build, can bring some new ideas, some new technology, technology, uh, in blockchain area in China. Yeah. So we got investment, uh, very, uh, yeah, uh, from different, uh, from different uh, area. I mean, uh, our investment background, they they are very diversity. Uh, we got investment from uh, the professors, the lawyer, uh, the opinion leader in in Bitcoin community, in Ethereum community, and from uh, we even got a billionaire. We even got a billionaire support. Yeah, uh, Chen Weixing. Yeah, he is the QuaiD founder, and uh, they merged to DD. And the DD they they brought Uber China. Yeah, so basically the DD is bigger than Uber. Yeah, uh, because we have a lot of people here in China. So, so he's, he's yeah. Um, mm. So why you know I think there's been some split. You know some people go for public blockchains and some people go for more private solutions. Why do you think quantum is best in like a decentralized system? I mean I, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but obviously China is having some regulations and stuff. But uh, you know why do you prefer the decentralized blockchain uh, rather than some of these other solutions? Uh, you mean, uh, yeah, I, I think the, the blockchain right now, the whole industry is in the early age. Yeah, it, it, right now it's like uh, the government, they are trying to learn about the technology in China. They wanted to know uh, what's the benefit of the decentralized blockchain. Yeah, but uh, uh, mm, but in truth, like uh, last, f last few months, uh, because I, I, attend, I attended some closed door meeting with some uh, regulator in China, uh, like the the Bank of China, uh, even the security securities uh, regulation uh, department in China. Yeah, I, I we had some discussion about the the future of blockchain in China. So even the regulator, I mean, even the government in China, uh, they support the technology innovation. Yeah, but they do not want people put too much attention to Bitcoin price. Yeah. So, but they, they do support the, the, the technology evolution. They do support the, the technology, uh, you know, uh, uh, support, uh, technology, technology uh, internet evolution in China. Yeah. So they, they are very big support. Uh, so I think it's a misunderstanding about the, about the government of China. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I, um, and that was a really good, good context. So, you know, when, when you were developing Quantum, why did you go with decentralized? I mean, I've seen R3 and other services and private blockchains, you know, do you think decentralized has, can have a bigger impact because it's open to everyone? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the signal is not very good. Can you repeat the question? Mm. Yeah. Uh oh. Um, uh, why, why did you make quantum decentralized? Why not oh, make yes. it private? Like what is the, 
What is your goal with a, dis, a, a, a public blockchain, as they call it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, why do we want to do a public blockchain? Uh, because in China, I, uh, uh, in China, yeah, I think we need the community. Um, we need a community. We need a technology community in blockchain area, and we need the the application community in China. Yeah, so that's a reason uh, why we choose public blockchain because public blockchain. You can bring a lot of developer. You can bring a lot of people, and you can bring the the most talented people from the whole world. Yeah. But if it's like a private blockchain or a permission blockchain, it's been designed to be used by some uh, some certain company, like by some big company or some some private company. Yeah. Uh, so when you compare with uh, the network effect, uh, the the public blockchain has the biggest uh, has a bigger network effect. That's what we wanted to achieve, yeah. Because we want a quantum platform be an uh, uh, an infrastructure in China. Uh, I mean, a blockchain infrastructure in China, and uh, even uh, in in Asia, and maybe uh, in some other countries too, yeah. So we wanted to achieve the network effect, and we wanted to bring uh, the, the 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 talented people from the old world, uh, from all over the world, so they can they can work on the quantum platform. And um, so you guys are doing um, a crowd sale to launch the product. So why don't you tell people about uh, the numbers and when it's happening? Yeah. Uh, so for Quantum Platform, uh, we, uh, we we will do a crowd sale. Uh, and uh, because everyone know uh, we, 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 we did a private sale uh, for our angel investor. Yeah. For our angel ba- baker, yeah, but the, all these angel bakers they do not get the shares of a quantum project. Uh, they only get the, the the tokens in quantum project because quantum quantum is uh it registered in Singapore and uh, and it's a foundation, so no shares in the company. So we, we plan to do a card sale at the early March and uh, uh yeah we will have a cap yeah the cap is less than uh. Uh, maybe about uh, at the current price is about uh, uh, the cap is a f- uh, f- uh, one five yeah f- fifteen yeah fifteen thousand bitcoin is a cap yeah so we, if we uh, uh, if we didn't sold out uh, I think it's okay for us because we are talking uh, uh, after we release the quantum project we received a lot of uh, request uh, from the traditional venture capitals yeah. Uh, the, also from some big company in China, they show some bigger interest uh, to buy some tokens or to buy the shares. Yeah, at the early they wanted to buy the shares, but we told them no shares. Then they they ask us if they can buy some tokens. Yeah. So if we didn't sold out in the uh, in in the card sale, we um, the left tokens will be sold to the uh, private company or the big biggest company in China. Yeah. And it's uh, I believe it's fifty one percent of tokens that are up. Up for grabs? Yeah, it's a 51%. It's a, the total amount of quantum uh, token is 100 million. And uh, in the card sale uh, phase, we will plan to uh, sell up to uh, 51 million. And the cap uh, is less than uh, 15, uh, 15 uh, thousand Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, um, uh, if, in case people are interested, go to qtum.org and there's a bunch of resources. You can read the technical paper. So I recommend, uh, you know, if you're a technical person, dig dig into it and see if it's interesting to you. Uh, and thanks a lot for your time, Patrick. Yeah, thank you very much, Gavin. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add about quantum? Uh, yeah, maybe uh, a, lit- a little more about the future uh, future directions. Uh, I mean, the roadmap yeah, of a quantum project. Yeah. So uh, right now we already finished the test net. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, we already so uh, for the test net, it's the first UTXO model based uh, proof of stake smart contract platform. So we already finished the test net. All the functionality, all the function is working, and we have a we will release a, a very a, a demo video about our about our source code about the functions. Yeah. And for the uh, for the test net, we plan to release the test net in two or three months. Yeah, since since today, and for the main net, uh, it's gonna be released uh, three to four months. Uh, after after three months, uh, well, it's in uh, the estimate uh, uh, estimated timeline, three uh, to four months, we will release the main net. Yeah. So uh, also, I wanted to highlight yeah, in quantum platform, 
we put a lot of resource uh, into the mobile stuff, the mobile, the Go Mobile strategy. Yeah, we wanted to support the uh, the decentral, uh, decentralized applications. People can use that in their mobile cell phone. Yeah, uh, I th- I feel like that's the only way you can let people feel the value of blockchain technology. Yeah, rather rather than just buy and sell the Bitcoin or buy and sell some cryptocurrency, you need a really to bring the technology to people's daily life. Yeah, the only way I can see in China is like you you have some mobile, you have some mobile applications. Yeah, so uh, that's what I want to highlight. Yeah, it seems like people spend more time on their phones than their computers, and people use Uber and Lyft and uh, here in America, different things that are kind of like decentralized applications. And so uh, I think that's that's interesting. I think uh, Ethereum hasn't gotten an SPV uh, functionality yet. So it sounds like with your ETXO model, SPV will be a lot easier. Uh, yeah, that's some of these things would be faster. And then, uh, like you were saying, it's uh you can process transactions uh, uh, using multiple processors, right? Like parallel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a so, parallel. It's a parallel trans, uh, pro- processing. Yeah. Right. So that's the that um, creates uh, more efficiency and more speed. Very good news. Yeah, we uh, we wanted to uh, tell uh, uh, all our users like yeah, we also got the investment from Roger Ver. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we, we, yeah. So. We got some uh, really big support uh, from the Bitcoin community and uh, the opinion leader, and uh, we got investment from the traditional venture capitals too in China. Yeah. 